really going to be very shady. Guys, I am sat here melting. It's really hot. I'm outside here because can't shoot a video. Can't unfortunately let Adam come in the house. Um, you guys have been asking me for a video on latest watch collection. So this will be watch collection part four. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I haven't been out of the house in like four weeks now. And this is, uh, th this is interesting because I actually went down to the bank to pull some watches out and I was astonished. It's quiet, there's nobody around, it's really, really wild. Um, so yeah, I went down there, it was a procedure like I've never dealt with before to even go to my own safety deposit box. But uh, anyway, here I am, got them, um, and I'm going to give you... <laughs> Try that again. I see your, see your Germax hiding behind. Yeah, there. I always have my Germax. I mean, I go, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be very, <laughs> trying to be very, very um, responsible and considerate of others. And so here we are. Adam is there with a with a mask on and uh, gloves and um, have some backup gloves for him because he's going to be doing some close-ups. Anyway, whatever. So you asked me for this video, um, so I thought I would I would do it. I don't know what else we can do. We can't go out and film. Uh, so uh, let's look at some watches. What do you think? Speak at them. Oh I'm me, talking, sorry. Well, I'm, I'm talking to myself. I'm There's sorry. nobody I here. There's no... So you're talking. Your neighbour's going to think you're wacky. Well, I am. They know that. <laughs> they know that already. I am ready to see some watches. And I'm, okay. I haven't been able to get up close, but they look very sparkly. Well, it's just a selection um, of things that I don't believe I've showed you before. There's a possibility that maybe you've seen one or two of them, but I don't think so. So uh, I always ask you this question, Adam: Are we starting at the left or the right? Are you going to listen to me or not? Well, it depends on whether you pick left or right. <laughs> uh, let me see. Why don't we start top top right? I've not seen that AP before. This one? Uh-huh. Okay, we'll go that way? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. And and uh, at the end, you can do some close-ups and some all that stuff that you do magically. We'll jazz it up. With the gloves and the yeah. stuff. So, yeah, when people see the cutaways and they're wearing white gloves, then that's my hands. <laughs> yes, and you have to put the white gloves over the black, the gloves. black gloves. I feel like I'm about to come and tattoo you wearing these. <laughs> okay, so let's start with this. Here we go. This is, you can't see it from here, so you'll be zooming in on this stuff, right? How, yeah. You, how, how do I do this? You can do, so you just talk about the watch. Keep your mask on. I need a drink. He went, he went way back and took his mask off and... It's and a thousand degrees. It is here. a thousand degrees. I don't have a drink. I'm wearing all black. That's your fault. I know. Okay. Yeah, so you, you can just talk about the watches and I will do the cutaway. So if you're referring to something, you don't need to show it to this camera. I'll do a cutaway. Okay. And I, and, and I have to leave here. It has to be a relatively short video because I have to get these back before they close. They have limited hours. Okay. Um, so, uh, and you need to follow me, so... Yeah. All right. AP, that's it, so I'll put it back in the bag. <laughs> so, this is a 42 millimeter offshore, uh, and it has the, the diamond case and diamond bezel um, and diamond dial, a very beautiful piece. One of my favorite parts of this watch, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the strap, because it's black alligator with the same rose gold stitching, which really does complement it. I don't think you've ever seen this watch. I haven't seen that watch, um, no and uh, I really enjoy it. So yeah, so this is watch number one. It's so hot out here, yeah, it's, it's so Is that hot. heavy? Normally you'd hand it to me right now. Is it heavy watch? Uh, it's, it's quite heavy, yeah. yeah, it's quite heavy. I was um, saying we should get a little um, like pocket scale so that we can actually weigh these things. Cause we always say, oh, feel the weight of this, feel the weight of this. I know. It'd be nice to actually know what the weight actually is. So I'm gonna guess this is about 150 grams. I have no idea. It might be a thousand. It might be fifty. I have no idea. That's my guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. So this, you might have seen me wear this on a video, but I've never actually shown it to you. And it's also it's one of my favourites. This is a Jacob Epic X in rose gold with the Parve diamonds. Uh, it has a red dial and it has a complete skeleton see-through, which you can't see from there. I know, but you will when Adam does the shot. Uh, the glass on the back is is red, 
uh, and on the front and if I'm holding it up to the sun you can see right through it it's, it's skeletonized beautiful beautiful piece on a white alligator band um, chrono function and <gasps> oh dear I'll switch my ringer off it was a joke coming in um, chrono function on, on here minutes uh, not minutes seconds stop start and then this returns it and over here this little guy here turns the inner bezel it's the tachometer and it's something to do with diving and i don't know how it works so i'm not going to even attempt to I believe it's to do with bottom time mask can i just say I'm no really you don't, don't don't look at me I, <laughs> I i really enjoy filming like this he really enjoys filming like that you probably couldn't hear what he said that's what he said mask i'm drinking put your drink away put your drink away ah. last time i was here filming with you when we did the eventy video yes uh, we were filming for what two hours yes and you didn't get even offer me a drink and it was well you can ask because you can't take your mask off and it was <laughs> boiling hot sorry so you I'm can always have a drink i can always ring the bell and, and staff will bring you a drink okay next <laughs> ring. i just imagine you sat in a chaise lounge just like ding, 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 ding. I actually hear little <laughs> buzzers you know, in case I need anything anywhere in the house. Are they those big red cords that hang all over your house in case you fall over? In the olden days, okay. <laughs> this one I know you haven't seen before. Um, this is a watch I had my eyes on for a long, long time. It was uh, in Seth's showcase at Essential Watches and I was trying to buy it from him for the longest pe period of time. Unsuccessfully, obviously, for a period of time, but not anymore. I eventually talked him into accepting my offer. Uh, he made me a great deal and I love this piece. This is very heavy, very, very heavy. It looks it. It is a De Grisogono uh, and it's a dual time. You can set the top time and the lower time to different time settings, like GMT setting. And then it has a open back. Uh, very fun piece, very heavy, uh, very heavy. And it has the Parve set into the bracelet. I also have one of these on a, on a Stingray bracelet. It's slightly different and it's rose. But uh, I love this brand. Not many people know about this brand, but I like it. That's a good looking watch. It's more traditional than a lot of the ones you have, but it's very classy. Yeah, and it's big. Mm. It's, it's, it's quite a heavy watch. Okay, so this um, one. Can I, sorry to interrupt. Uh, so somebody said to me yesterday uh, that we should do a video with Seth where we do a FaceTime little tour of his shop. And I was like, huh, that's funny you mentioned that because we're going to. Let's do it. Next watch. I can't really show this watch. Don't know how I'm going to do this. What? So, well, so this is a Jacob & Co Caligula. And it's a very, very classy, beautiful looking watch right now. But you can make it unclassy very quickly. How do you do that, you might ask, before I get to that part. It has an open back and it's, um, it's a really cool fun watch but here we go so i'm turning this bottom crown and the dial now displays oh. some <laughs> naughty scenery <laughs> which moves and i can't show you that you have to google it jacob caligula and you'll see what it does so do you have to push anything to make it go or is it always yes done? the top crown okay got you. The, the, the top crown so this one this bottom crown opens the dial so you can actually see the scene and then the top one Just activates push it. it in. Yeah, but we're not gonna do that. You actually turn it. Oh, you turn it to make it you, do it? You turn it to make it do it. But but I can't show that, we're a PT channel. Why do people think that I was doing a podcast? Oh yeah, he just whispered something. He whispered, what do you guys think if we were to do a podcast? So if you like the idea, hit the thumbs up button Hit the thumbs up button anyway, but tell us in the comments if you want us to do a podcast because we'd like to do that for you. You film a podcast, right? We can, yeah, we can absolutely film a podcast. Yeah, so um, we'll, do, we'll do as much as we can to, uh, to provide you with good content. And also, if you've got suggestions of what we should talk about in a podcast, let us know. Because we could get some really interesting people. On. I keep trying to get into this way. <laughs> yeah, we could get some very interesting people. And uh, I, I, uh, I, I know a lot of celebrities that would love to come on the, on the podcast. So uh, let us know if you want us to do it. And then we will oblige. We'll try anyway. This is a Daytona. Start again. This is a Rolex Daytona Rainbow. It, this is one of my favorite pieces. I really, really love this piece. 
Um, it has a, a, a rainbow bezel. It's graduated sapphires that go all the way around. The dial, the hour markers are actually different colored sapphires as it goes around. And then the band and the clasp can do this. Very clumsy today. They all matches beautifully with the Parve. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Is that factory? It is, yes. It is. Pretty piece, right? Really nice. I like that. So let me put this back. Da -da -da -da. Okay, next one. This is an interesting watch, and you'll enjoy seeing this as a close-up. So this is a Harry Winston. Uh, it's from the Ocean Collection, and it's called a Retrograde. The second hand does 30 seconds, and when it gets to the bottom, it fires back up. Oh, really? And yeah, and you'll see that you'll see that happen when you do the, yeah, the close-ups yeah. on That's it. That's cool. Uh, again, it does have a it does have an open back um, with the little thing spinning, but there's nothing really to see. Uh, start over here and come this way. Yeah, or? why not? Let's okay. go for that Joker watch. Okay, so this is a fun, fun, fun piece, and uh, I know I've never showed it to you. I wore it in one video, but this is cool. I mean, this is really, really cool. The face never makes the same face twice. The eyeballs on the left is the hours, on the right is the minutes. And uh, will this show if I turn them? Yeah, um, probably not from there, but again, if. Oh, yeah, go on, man, try yeah, it. So uh, I'll just make a different face. So you can do anything with this. Uh, you can see it's changing all the time. <laughs> can you, you can see it, right? Yeah. So, so there is no traditional dial. It is the left hand, the left eye is the hour, right eye is the minute. Correct. And this watch is made by Constant Shakin. It's made in Russia. Uh, this particular piece is not the Joker, it's called the Clown. Uh, and this, I will leave uh, for you to show the back because it's a piece unique. This was made specially for me. It's stamped here, piece, piece unique. Uh, just a very, very fun watch. The tongue is the moon phase and that is controlled by this pusher on the side. You need a tool to do it but uh, you press it and it follows where the moon cycle is and it goes obviously every day. But what a cool piece. Um, I'm going to put that there and I'll leave that like that. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah perfect. Next one here, we have another Jacob. Um, this is an Epic and Adam now has uh, the same watch, but not in gold. You have yours in, in uh, black, titanium. Black, black titanium. This one is, is rose gold. Uh, spectacular piece, uh, just looks amazing on the wrist and, and I think this is a watch that um, is, is just special. And I'll leave this one open as well because the back of it yeah, is really, on, really it? pretty to look at. Uh, it's on an alligator strap on the top. The sides are in fact made of rubber, which is really cool. Um, rubber is very comfortable to wear, much more so than, than leather or a, any form of skin. But uh, that's a cool watch, so I'll leave that one so that you can show that. What I love about the Epic range is that they, they look so different. So the black looks totally different to that, which looks totally different to the colored ones. I know. They, they, they're like different watches, completely, yeah, completely yeah. different. Uh, and that's what makes them so special, you know? Uh, very unique, very clever. And the, the, the way that this is made when you actually touch it, it's just a magnificent. Rolexes too. That's also to me the quality of a Rolex is insane. It's fantastic. Um, just great watches in general. Anyway, talking of Rolex, let's get this one. This one I don't believe I've ever showed to you. Ah! Whoa! Nearly not... didn't have anything to show you. Um, this is a Submariner, um, and it's 18 karat yellow gold, and the bezel on this is ceramic. So recently, I don't know how long ago, maybe two years ago, uh, maybe three years ago, maybe five years, I don't know. You just know your name's out. Well, recently, <laughs> re recently, they changed this insert from plastic to ceramic, uh, and they also made the lugs a little bit wider so you can instantly tell uh, the, the difference between the models. But this is a great, great everyday watch. I mean, you, you could literally, well, I was gonna say throw it, but mm. no, it's not a watch you wanna throw. Just a great watch. Um, What's the retail price on that? I think about 40,000. Right. Um, give or take. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't remember. Um, 38, maybe 38. But great, great watch, great value uh, for, a, for a gold watch. 
uh, staying with Rolex. This is fun. This is called the Leopard. Some call it the Safari. It's a Daytona. That looks like something Joe Exotic would wear, the Tiger King. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. It probably would. Right? I can imagine him wearing that. So people that wear this watch, Nicolas Cage has one. Um, uh, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith has one. Uh, producer Michael has one. <laughs> Uh, just a fun piece. It's a Daytona. It's a yellow good Daytona. Uh, the bezel is orange sapphires. Uh, the band is, I guess it's some kind of printed leather, but it's obviously leopard themed, as is the dial and the little diamond hour markers. But just a, just a fun watch. Um, I think these are becoming very collectible. Same as the, the rainbow one. Rolex are going a little bit out of the box with these types of watches, but fun piece. Fun, fun, fun. Have piece. you watched Tiger King? I watched one episode of it. Um, not a huge fan. I think a lot of cruelty to the animals and just not. Oh, I mean, not, it's, not it's cool. horrific. Like what, yeah. those, those places should be shut down for sure. They should be shut down, and the people that are working with them should be taken away and for yeah. a long time. I think one of them has recently. Joe Exotic is yeah. he's in prison. Yeah, yeah well, for, for an uh, attempted murder, well, not attempted murder, but for arranging to kill Carol Baskin, who's the owner of the other one. Oh, wow. so, so you should watch it. Like I, I don't like seeing the animals treated like that, and I don't like those weird people. So I will. I'll watch it actually you, you because should, you know that I'm the world's biggest animal lover. You are, and, yeah, and, and I'm right behind you. Right, exactly. Right behind you. It's it's worth the watch. The actual the animal cruelty thing is is one thing. The storyline behind it and the madness that goes on. It's well worth a watch, and that watch, I can imagine him wearing that in a lion cage, like, Hi, I'm Joe Exotic, and you should support <laughs> me for president! I'm going to watch it, and I'll give you my thoughts on that. <laughs> Alright, moving on. And I don't, I'm not trying to rush anything, but it's baking hot here. Um, okay, next one. This is yet another Jacob. I think you guys know by now that I like Jacobs. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the ones I've showed you, although they're not uh, inexpensive, they're a lot less expensive than some of the big pieces so you know they're very they're very obtainable this uh and you're going to have to demonstrate this by pressing this black button on the side here it lights up and it, it has five time zones and i can't see it because it's too bright um yeah you can't even demonstrate it forget it it's, it's just too <laughs> bright but each one of these windows lights up with a time zone and you can press um again and it gives you another five time zone so you've basically got 10 and some other functions just a fun watch uh, you can dress this down by pressing these two red buttons the bezel comes off oh, yeah. and then you can put on a regular bezel which is far less ostentatious and how do you do that and don't laugh at me uh, no, I'm very surprised. You got that off with remarkable ease. Well, it's easy to actually get it on and off. Now there's the black carbon fiber version, um, which is which is really fun. You just press the two buttons simultaneously, really hard, and it really see right now that will never oh. release. But when you press these buttons really hard, it comes off. Oh, yeah. And there's a little red dot on the inside of the bezel, which lines up with a red oh. dot here, so you know how to line it back up again. So. I wouldn't have been fumbling the first time. Is that a diamond bezel or are they CZs? This is a diamond bezel. Yeah. I, I think the word Jacob and Co. or the name Jacob and Co. and CZ don't go together That's well. That's very true. So yeah, this is 100% uh, diamond bezel. Now you can buy this without the diamond bezel, uh, just plain like this. In fact, that's the way I bought it originally. Then second, I bought this uh, yeah. a, a couple of months later because I thought it, it really dressed it up. It does, it looks very um, special. So yeah, let me put that back in there. And then this one, it's in the box. I didn't know it was in the box. I've showed you this before. I know I've showed you this before, so I won't go into it. It's the Ramon, Ramon, what is it? It's the Remain, Remain Gerard, Jerome, Jerome Titanic. Yeah. Um, so I won't give you too much detail on it, but it's just a cool box that happened to be. Well, just in case people haven't seen the first video, then you may Watch well. the first video and the second and the third, and this is number four, but okay. So um, it's made with parts of the Titanic. The bezel is from the hull of the Titanic. Uh, at least that's what they say. Um, the second hand is a propeller, which is here, which Adam can zoom in on. Uh, and the back of it uh, just has like an engine room picture with some writing that says DNA of the Titanic and made with parts of the Titanic. But a fun watch. So yeah, guys, um, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I'm going to get out of the sun. It is so hot. Please, please stay safe. 
stay indoors. Um, this problem will go away if we all work together to make it go away. It's, it's, it affects everybody. It affects me, it affects you, it affects everybody. So let's be respectful and considerate to everybody else and, and follow the guidelines. We'll see you soon. We are in it to win it. And Adam, what else have I missed? Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, tell your friends about us. Yeah, and share and all those lovely things that, that we like and we'll continue making content for you. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.